Alright, so before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I currently have a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway going on on the channel right now. If you look at the top right of your screen, there should be a link popping up. Make sure you guys click that link and follow the very simple um, instructions down in the pinned comment of that video so you'll be eligible to enter the giveaway. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I do one of these giveaways and also other cool videos that will be posted to this channel. Thank you guys and let's get straight into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, week two of the NFL season is coming up. And for Chicago Bears, they will be taking on the Houston Texans on Sunday night football. This will not be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination, but there are some things the Bears can do to be able to win this game. So I will give my three keys in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's up, guys? KT here, back at it with another video. Today, we're doing the Bears. The Bears are taking on an early test, and when I say a test, it's gonna it's gonna be a test. Um, they're taking on the Houston Texans on Sunday Night Football. Um, it's not gonna be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination, but there are some things the Bears can do to help themselves out. And who knows if the Bears are able to do these things or somewhat come close to doing them, they might even walk out with a dub. So, you know, I'm not gonna hold you guys for too much longer. Let's get straight into it. Number one. You got to find a way to stop this Houston Texans offense. It is doable. It is doable. But it's going to be hard. This Houston Texans offense is filled with talent from top to bottom. In the running back group, you got Joe Mixon, Cam Akers, Damon Pierce. In the wide receiver room, you have Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, who's really, really good. Um, Robert Woods. They have a healthy John Mechie III, who just seems forgotten about. You know, the tight ends, Dalton Schultz and uh, Cade Stover, you know, they got two premium tackles and Titus Howard and Laramie Tunsil. And you can't forget about the man who's running the show um, and CJ Stroud from the Ohio State University. Plus, they have a good head coach in D'Amico Ryans and a great offense coordinator in Bobby Slowick, if he's still there. Um, this Houston Texans team is loaded on offense. Um, but there is a success. There is a formula to, you know, slowing them down. We saw it during the playoffs against the, um, the Baltimore Ravens. If you force CJ Stroud out the pocket and force him to make off platform throws and get consistent pressure on him, you know, it's a hard task for any quarterback to do it, but you know, I'd rather have C.J. Stroud trying to make those difficult out platform, off platform throws outside the pocket than rather having him stand in there and finding guys wide open. Also, the Bears must find a way to limit the explosive plays of the Houston Texans offense. They got explosive players at those at those positions, especially at the wide receiver position. Stephon Diggs is no easy guard, but that's why you got Jalen Johnson. You got you know, Tank Dell is not an easy guard either, but that's why you got Tyreek Stevenson um, or Kyler Gordon. That's why you have guys. Um, they have Nico Collins. We have um, Tyreek Stevenson. They have guys like Tank Dell. We have Kyler Gordon. They got their tight ends. We have Jaquan Brisker in our linebacking core. They got Joe Mixon. We have TJ Edwards. They got Laramie Tunsil. We got Montez Sweat. So there are things they can do. I think the Bears definitely need to limit the explosive plays and they got to get the Houston Texans behind the sticks. They got to force them into those third and long situations. So when you get in, them into those clear passing situations and you for, get the pressure on Stroud, you can kind of make him make that questionable decision. And, you know, it's going to be hard because he doesn't make a lot of them. But if you can get him to make that crucial mistake, maybe turn the ball over on him a couple times, you can definitely stop this Houston Texans offense. But it starts up front with that defensive line. They're going to have to find a way to, you know, get past Laramie Tunsil and Titus Howard. So I think attacking the middle of that offensive line um, for the Houston Texans is paramount while also trying to stop that run game um, with the potent running back and Joe Mixon plus Cam Akers. So, you know, the Bears defense is just going to have to find a way. I don't care how Matt Eberflus do it or Eric Washington do it. Just find a way to slow down that Houston Texans offense and you have a really, really good chance of winning this game. Point number two, Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears offense has to execute this week. 
I mean, have to execute this week and they have to calm down, especially for Caleb Williams. He definitely looked like a rookie in his first game. Now, granted, you know, it's his first game. They're playing at Soldier Field. He's the hope of the franchise. We knew he was, it was pretty much inevitable that he was going to be nervous and he was going to make some mistakes and he's probably going to be generally ineffective. That's what happens to rookies. Going into the, and plus, we didn't really execute, the pieces around him didn't really execute as well as I thought they were going to do. Um, but going into the matchup with the Houston Texans, man, you're going to have to execute. You know, the drop passes cannot happen. You know, and I, I think Keenan is is definitely kicking himself for that drop pass. Keenan Allen doesn't drop passes like that. I don't think he'll drop passes this week. But you know, things like miss blocks on play action, things like overthrows when guys are wide open. You know, missing guys wide open in your progressions. You know, those are things that have to be executed. And if the Bears are able to hit on that stuff, you know, that Texans defense, especially at Texans interior defensive line, is nowhere near as good as the Tennessee Titans. Um, they got some pieces on that Texans defense um, with Daniel Hunter, Will Anderson Jr. They got uh, some pieces in the secondary like Derek Stingley Jr. And they got Jalen Petre and they got Jimmy Ward and they still have a young corner in Jeff Okuda. So you know they got pieces on that defense but you can put up points on this houston texans defense anthony richardson proved that last week you can put up points on this defense and you can have explosive plays on this defense you know if anthony richardson doesn't miss you know those easy passes to die mitchell we could be talking about an entirely different story and the houston texans could easily be coming into this game one and oh oh and one and i feel like if caleb calms down and he's able to have the time to process and they protect him and he has the time to pr process and read the entire field. He will be able to set his feet and he will be able to make the throws we need him to make. And it's up to the guys, especially the pass catchers, to actually catch the ball and bring it in. And we're in business. We're able to get our offense going. That will put pressure on the Texans defense and it will also put pressure on that Houston Texans offense to respond. And when you put pressure on someone, they usually make mistakes. So calm down, relax, run the system that Shane Waldron wants to run. And Shane Waldron has to be better at his play calling as well. I think we can run the ball a little bit better in this matchup as they don't have the strongest interior defensive line. So we got to give DeAndre Sweat some more carries. So just executing, calming down, and relaxing is a big key going into this game. If Caleb Williams and the offense is able to relax and do that and execute the plays that they're able to run and show that talent, the Bears can put up points on this defense. That's all I'm saying. Point number three, get turnovers. I want to see the Bears replicate that success that they had on Sunday with getting turnovers and getting pressure against Will Levis. Granted, the Houston Texans, C.J. Stroud, they aren't the Tennessee Titans, and C.J. Stroud is not Will Levis. But C.J. Stroud isn't invincible either. If you're able to get pressure on him and you're able to force him outside the pocket and make him make plays, remember, a guy is only as good as the supporting cast around him. And we have a really good secondary. They have pieces on their offense. We have pieces on our defense. I think our secondary can go toe to toe with anybody, anybody when healthy, you know, and if they're able to, if the secondary is able to buy a little time and the Bears are able to get pressure, you can force the Texans into making some mistakes. And, you know, typically the team that wins the turnover battle usually wins the game. If you can force, you know, a couple turnovers, you can get one interception, maybe force a fumble. That's going to set up short yard, short field situations for your offense. That is paramount with this defense, not only, but it's also paramount with a rookie quarterback as short fields help your rookie quarterback. It helps your offense. Even if they don't end the drive in a touchdown, at most, that will set up drives where you can at least get a field goal and put up points on the board. So Getting turnovers, that's how this defense is coached to play. Getting turnovers, flying to the ball, setting up short yardage and short field situations for the Chicago Bears offense. If they're able to win that turnover battle and they're able to force those mistakes out of C.J. Stroud, 
and that Houston Texans offense, which will be a very hard task. But if they're able to do it, and I think they are, because we have a really good defense here in Chicago, I think the Bears have just as good of a chance in this game as anybody. So win the turnover battle, get off the field on third down, that's another key point, and you have a really, really good chance of winning this game. Ultimately, though, I have the Houston Texans squeaking by with a 23-20 victory. Listen, CJ Stroud and that offense is really, really good. But this is not the same Chicago Bears team. We are not an easy win anymore. I personally think the Bears defense is, is going to make CJ Stroud look a little, I wouldn't say look terrible, but they're going to make him look a little bad out there. I feel like we can hang with anybody with our defense. I feel like we're going to get pressure um, on CJ Stroud. And we're going to make him a little uncomfortable back there. Um, and we know we can stop the run. It's just about executing on defense as well. And I feel like we're going to be able to get turnovers as well. Um, as far as for the Bears offense, I feel like they rebound from that tough game last week. I feel like Caleb Williams now knows the speed of the NFL. He now understands it. He's still going to have rookie moments, but I think as we go along in the season, he's going to get better. I feel like we're going to be able to run the ball a little bit better against the Houston Texans offense. And if we're able to execute and protect Caleb Williams long enough, I feel like he'll be able to find the guys that are open and put points up on the board with that being said the houston texans still are a very good team i feel like they will clutch out a victory in the end um with a field goal with a field goal win um but it's not going to be easy for the houston texans i feel like the bears make it hard if the bears do you know what they're supposed to do and they help the quarterback out and they play very great defense i feel like they have just as good of a chance as anybody but as currently constructed, I think I have the Texans winning by a field goal. I could be wrong. I feel like it's going to be a very tough game, and I think we make the Houston Texans offense come back down to earth, and I feel like we're going to be able to put points up on their defense. But I, at the end of the day, I think they just narrowly, just narrowly pull the win through. So I got the Houston Texans winning 23-20. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Who do you guys have winning this primetime matchup? Do you have the Chicago Bears or do you have the Houston Texans? Um, let me know how and why down in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video as it helps the channel grow. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop one of these Bears videos. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so you know every subscriber counts so thank you guys for that make sure you guys follow me on social media as well as i will be tweeting out things um before the game i also will be streaming this game as well so if you guys want to see that make sure you guys hit that notification bell and subscribe um you know i'll be i will announce the stream when it starts on social media so make sure you guys follow me on there as well um but yeah thank you guys for watching bear down and i'm out Peace.